Okay, we're going to start with a word of prayer if we just bow our heads. Lord God, we come before you now to praise you and to pray for that time to come when we will see the Lord Jesus Christ upon this earth, when your kingdom will be established and all people shall know of you. And we pray that as we wait for him, we may continue to have the ability and the freedom to open your word and to consider its message. And we pray that your blessing will be upon us this evening as we consider these things, these wonderful things that are coming upon this earth. So we ask that you'll be with us and bless us. We ask all these things through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, well. May I have permission to record, please? Sorry? You are recording. I'm recording, yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, right. So, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, so, this evening, we're going to talk about a wonderful subject. We're going to talk about the kingdom of God. Now, you're probably all familiar with the United Nations. Uh, now, outside the United Nations building, and you may know that it has uh, a Bible verse on it. Which is from Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4. It says, They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. It's Isaiah 2, verse 4. And outside the United Nations building, you can also see that statue that's there on the picture. And that's supposed to uh, show a man who is uh, making his sword into a plowshare. So he's uh, obviously doing something where he doesn't need his sword, he's just going to bring about peace. So the United Nations has, has uh, very big ambitions of what it tries to do. Uh, the United Nations tries to bring about and to maintain peace in the world. So what it is trying to do is, uh, on this um, slide now, it's called a charter, and that sets out what the United Nations is trying to achieve. And you can see there at the top it says to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war. And there you can see it also says that it's trying to bring about international peace and security. Now, those are, are very noble ambitions, aren't they? And yet, there have never been, there has never been any lasting peace upon this earth. There is always a, a war going on somewhere in the world. And 
So even now, in, the, in these uh, unusual times with, with the lockdown around the world, there's still something like 40 or 50 wars raging across the planet. And there's never going to be lasting peace upon this earth until God intervenes. و تا زمانی که خدا مداخله نکنه هیچ وقت نمیشه گفت که یک انسول و آرامش جاری باشه روی زمین و دوام داشته باشه در واقع. And so this evening we're going to think about the time when there will be peace upon this earth when God's kingdom is established. و حالا امروز میخوام راجع این فکر کنیم که زمانی که پادشاه خدا میاد و اون صلح و آرامش روی زمین هستش. And we know don't be from our previous uh, our previous lessons that that's going to come about when the Lord Jesus Christ returns to this earth. And the Bible is full of verses that tell us all about the kingdom of God. So in Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6, this is a prophecy which is all about the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it tells us about his birth. But it also tells us about a time when he will reign as king over all the earth. And look how the Bible describes uh, what will happen in verse 6. Do you want to read that for us, Amir? Yes, sure. Well, it's Eo no Oyashi. Zero Kabarimo Kudaki Zoda, a Pesari Momo Bakshi, the show. Sansanat Barbusho for Abu Bau, Mushover Shagir Tanki, Rahodoya Kadi, a Pedar Sarmadi, a Sarvara Soul for on the Hajo. And sorry, the first part of verse seven as well. Afsuni Farmora Wave, a Soul Huru of Poyonina for Abu. Okay, but half the Dodo and Bargalam Rebu put Roni Hajo. So notice what it says here in verse 7. It says, of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. So this describes a time when there will be peace on the earth. And it's not just going to be for a short period of time. It says that it's going to last forever. Okay, let's turn over to another prophecy. This time to Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 10. We're going right to the end of the Old Testament, nearly to right to the end, Zechariah 9, verse 10. Shall I read that? Yes, please. Arobe ro az Efraim va asp jangi ro az Urshalim bar khawad dash, bar khawam dash, va kaman jang shikaste khawad shud, va ur soh ro be gomha nada khawad kard, va hukumatash az darya ta darya, va az nahr furat ta karam hai zamin khawad. Okay, so this, this tells us two important things. It tells us that it, it, this is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. It says that he shall speak peace to the nations. And it tells us where this message will be taken to. It says, from sea to sea, As darya ta, ta darya. and from the river to the ends of the earth. In other words, it's going to fill the whole of the world. So I think last week uh, we were talking about um, the, the stone that smashed into the image from Daniel chapter 2. And 
to himself. And it grew into a large mountain that filled the whole of the earth. And this represents Jesus returning to the earth and his kingdom filling the whole earth. و میدونی که اون سنگ نمایینگر و نشاندنده ایسا مسیحه و وقتی هم که پور شد دقیقا نشاندنده زمانی که پادشای خدا میاد و اون پادشای خدا رو تحسیص میکنه Now every nation in this world has a capital هر قوم و ملتی توی این دنیا هر کشوری یک پای تختی داره We're told that the capital of God's kingdom will be the city of Jerusalem و پایتخت امپادشای خدا هم که نوشته شده که اورشلیم خواهد بود. Now at the moment we can't say that it's a, a place where there is peace. و در حال حاضر فعلا نمیتونیم بگیم الان اورشلیم جایی که صلح و آرامش توش برقراره. There's often some kind of trouble that's going on in Jerusalem. و طبق اون چیزایی که هم میدونیم یه سری مشکلات و دردسرهای الان فعلا در حال اتفاق افتادن توی اون شهر. When Jesus was on the earth, though, he described Jerusalem as being the city of the great king. Let's look at a verse from Psalm 122. So in this verse, we're told that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. برای صلح و سلامت اورشلیم دعا کنید باشد که دوستدارانت دوستدارانت در آسایش باشند در میان برج‌هایت امنیت حکمران باشد و در میان بارهای صلح و سلامت و میونه که داره میگه که دعا دعا میکنه که صلح و سلامت و آرامش تو اورشلیم برقرار باشد Okay so we're told to pray for the time when that city will be at peace which is when Jesus will rule from Jerusalem و در واقع اون داره گفته میشه که بعد از زمانی دعا کن که اون سر و سلامت باشه و در واقع زمانی میشه که عیسی مسیح برگشته و داره حکم فرمانی کنه و حاکم اون سرزمینه. Okay, so what have we looked at so far? We've seen that Jesus Christ is returning to the earth to bring peace. چیزی که تا الان نگاه کردیم عیسی مسیح برمیگرده به روی زمین و سر و سلامت میاد روی زمین، سر و آرامش برقرار میشه. We're told that his kingdom is going to fill the whole earth. و پادشاهیش هم که همونجوری که گفتیم متوجه به اون خوابی که نوکت نسیده بود تمام دنیا رو پر می‌کنه. And the capital of that kingdom will be Jerusalem. و پایتخت اون پادشاهی هم که اورشلیم خواهد بود. Now a nation or a kingdom is not a kingdom without any people. و خب قاعدتا یک پادشاهی یک قوم یا یک کشور بدون ملت و مردم نمیتونه بمونه. And the Bible tells us that uh, it, it tells us about life for the people who live in the kingdom of God. And it tells us that life will be very different for people who live in God's kingdom. It tells us that there will be uh, a part of the population that will no longer be able to sin. اون جمعیتی که در اون زمان دیگه زندگی میکنن دیگه گناهی انجام نمیدن و گناهی مرتکب نمیشن. And if they're not able to sin, then they're not able to die, so they'll be immortal. و زمانی که کسی مرتکب گناهی نشه نخواهد بود و زندگی جاودان همشون خواهند داشت. So that's one group of people. The other group of people, they will be mortal in God's kingdom. خب این شد گروه اول. گروه دوم کسایی که فانی هستند. Uh, these will be people living at the time when Jesus returns to the earth who don't know the gospel at this time. But God's kingdom will be a time when these people can learn about the gospel and about Jesus Christ. پادشاهی خدا زمانی که این افراد میتونن یاد بگیرن راجع به عیسی مسیح و کلام خدا. And that eventually they also can receive immortality. و در پایان این کار وقتی که کلام مقدس یاد میگیرن میتونن اونها هم جاودانگی رو به دست بیارن. Okay, so the, so the, the time when Jesus reigns as king we're told 
uh, it's going to be a thousand years. And we read that in Revelation chapter 20. Okay, so this is talking about that first group of people we talked about who will be immortal in God's kingdom. And notice at the end there it says they're going to reign with him for a thousand years. So this group of people will be helping the Lord Jesus Christ to set up this kingdom and to ensure that people understand about the gospel. And this will be a, a wonderful time when we'll be able to, to put to right all the many, many wrong things that are happening upon this earth. So the world will then, after this a thousand years, it will be perfect. And I'm sure we know why it's going to be perfect, but that's because sin will be gone. And sin is at the center of all of the world's problems. But if sin is gone, then all problems are gone. Okay, so at the end of that thousand years, uh, God gives a description then of what's going to happen. It says uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 28, God, all and in all. Now, we don't know much about this time. We're not told much about it, but we know that it will be wonderful. Now, you can see in front of you maybe a diagram, but what it does, it just sets out uh, the different parts of, of, of time um, leading up and into the kingdom. So the dark grey box on the left is, is now, it's our time. And all of us are mortal, aren't we? Uh, then uh, when the kingdom of God starts, there'll be a mixed population of people who are mortal and immortal. And at the end of the thousand years, from that verse that we just looked at, there will only be immortal people. 
و با توجه به اون چیزی که همین توی اول بونتیون 15 20 سالش خوندن میبینی که همه دیگه اونجا جاودان خواهند بود اوکی سو لتس هاف انادر لوک ات سم ورسز تو دو ویت دی پیپل لیوینگ ان گادز کینگدم بنوالی این موقع دیگه بخونیم به سری از آیات دیگه اوکی لتس هاف ا لوک ات ریولیشن چپتر 5 تا 11 So this is talking about those people who will be given immortality when Jesus returns to the earth. And as I said, we will be helping uh, Jesus to establish that kingdom upon the earth. ما در این زمان به عیسی مسیح در حال کمک کردن هستیم تا پادشاهی خدا رو تأسیس کنه و همه چیز طبق اون برنامه جلو بره. Okay, let's read verses um, 9 to 11 please. ا مخاشفه با با پر آیه 9 تا 11 و سوریدی تازه به دین سان میسودن که تو سزاوار گرفتن توماری و سزاوار گوشودن مرغای آن چرا که ذب شدی و با خون خود مردم رو از هر طایفه و زبان و قوم و ملت برای خدا خریدی. و از آنها حکومتی ساختی و کاهنانی که خدمت گذار خدای ما باشن و اینان بر زمین سلطنت خواهند کرد آنگاه نظر کردم و صدای خیلی فرشگان را شنیدم که گرداگرد آن تخت فراهم آمده بودند و گرداگرد آن موجودهای زنده و آن پیران شما را آنها از هزاران هزار و کرورها کرور بیشتر بود اوکی سو دیس تو تینگز آی جاست وانت تو پیک اپ فرام ورس 10 دو تا چیز از آیدان فرام استفاده کنیم توش So it says that you have made them a kingdom and priests. So there will be a, a religious aspect to, these, uh, to the rule of these people. So as I said earlier, we will be teaching people about the gospel. و همونجوری که قبلا گفتیم در حقیقت ما در اون زمان پیام انجیل رو صحبت می‌کنیم به مردم بشارت می‌دیم. But notice what it also it says in verse 10 it says they shall reign on earth. They will be rulers. آینده آخرش و بر زمین هم سلطنت خواهیم کرد. So we will also be administering justice and um, authority part of the government which will sort of rule over this world. و در حقیقت اون ادالت ما برقرار میکنیم بر روی زمین و, و اختیارات داریم توی اون سلطنتی که هستش و کارهایی رو در دست ما قرار میدن که انجام بدیم اوکی let's have a look at Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 we're going right back to the other end of the bible now Deuteronomy 28 verse 13 تصنیه 28 13 صفحه 255 Because the Bible also uh, has a very special place for the Jewish people. So they all, uh, a, a portion of them will be allowed to live in God's kingdom as mortal people. فانی در پادشاهی خدا زندگی کنه. Let's read verse uh, 13 where it describes a little bit about that time. تصنیه 28 آیه 13 خداوند شما را سر خواهد سا ندون و همواره بالا خواهید رفت نپایین به شرطی که فرمانهای یهوه خدای خیش را که من امروز به شما هم میفرمایم بشنوید و به گوش باشید تا آنها را به جای آورید. So instead of being a people that are despised, uh, people who have been treated so badly, they will be a people that are looked up to. و به جای اینکه مردم مردمانی باشیم که تحقیر کنیم، بی احترامی کنیم و نافرمانی کنیم، کسانی هستیم که نگاه همیشه به خداست و مطیع فرمانهای او. There be some of the first people to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. و افرادی که دقیقاً از راهی که داشتن می‌رفتن مثل افرادی که می‌رفتن راه شبارو و برگشتن به عیسی مسیح ایمان آوردن. Okay, so what about this mortal population then? Let's have a look at Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah 2, verse 
در ایام آخر واقع خواهد شد که کوه خانه خداوند بالاتر از تمامی کوههای استوار خواهد, خواهد گردید و فراتر از تپه‌ها برافروشته خواهد شد و تمامی قوم‌ها به سوی آن روان خواهند گرفت قوم‌های بسیار آمده خواهند گفت بیایید به کوه خداوند بروید و به خانه خدا یعقوب برایید تا راههای خود را به ما تعلیم دهد و در طریق‌های وی گام بردارید زیرا شریعت از صحیون صادق خواهد شد و کلام خداوند از اورشلیم Okay, so this tells us that uh, there's going to be a very special place. Uh, notice what it's called there, the mountain of the house of the Lord. And, and notice who goes there. At the end of verse 2, it says all nations will go to this place. And why? Well, it says in verse 3, because they want to learn about the God of Jacob. Okay, so... Uh, Uh, this tells us something else as well. Again, it tells us where this, the capital of this, um, uh, this kingdom will be. So any capital city in the world is where the government sits. So if we go to London, we could go to the Houses of Parliament. Uh, and that's where all the laws are made for this country. And living in Wales, we've got our own government as well. Just some of the laws. And if we go to Cardiff Bay, we can go to the Senate building. Okay, so that's where laws come from, don't they? They come from the capital city. So here in verse 3, we're told that these laws come from Zion. And where is Zion? Zion is the city of Jerusalem. Okay, let's... Uh... Let's move on. So what about life during this time in, this, in the kingdom of God? Well, one of the difficulties in this world is, is uh, the poverty that we see that's everywhere in the world. And we know, don't we, that there are There are many millions of people in this world who are hungry. And there are many millions of people who've got too much food and, and just throw it away. So in the kingdom of God, that's going to change. And everywhere uh, we'll have conditions where we can grow food and have enough to sustain us. Let's have a look at Psalm 72. مزامین هفته دو شنوزد باشد که قله در سرنسار زنی فراوان گردد و بر فراز تپا مول زند و میوه آن همچون لبنان باشد باشد که مردمان همچون علف سهر از شعرها شکوفه زند Okay, so it describes uh, 
a time when there will be even grain on the mountain tops. So what it's basically saying is is that conditions will be perfect. Now if you go over to Isaiah 35, uh, we can see that even the deserts will uh, have plants and trees growing in them. Okay, so it says that the desert is going to blossom. It says waters in verse 6 will break forth in the wilderness. So this is what we were describing earlier. This is a time when we can heal this world under the rulership of Jesus Christ. But it's not only the natural world, or sorry, in terms of the environment that will be healed, uh, people will be healed as well. So look what it says in verse 5. It says, The eyes of the blind shall be opened. So Amir and myself won't have to wear our glasses anymore. Uh, when we when we maybe get a little bit older, we won't have to have hearing aids. If for some reason we can't walk, it says, well, we can be healed. We can leap like a deer. Now I can't wait for that time. So I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm nearly 44 now. My legs aren't the same as they used to be. And I'd love to be able to run fast when I used to play lots of sports. And in the the Bible tells us that in God's kingdom we can do that. We can we can run and we're not going to feel tired or weary anymore. So it'll be a, a wonderful time when even when everything in this natural world can be healed and made better. Let's go over to Isaiah 65. And verses 19 and 20. Okay, so this seems to be saying that, that, that everyone's going to live longer. 
و دقیقا همون آیات مفهوم و معانی مشابه داره همه برای زندگی طولانی خواهم So conditions on this earth will have to change to allow that to happen. و خب یه سری شرایط و موقعیت‌های روی الان روی کره زمین باید تغییر کنه تا اون اتفاقات رخ بده. And that is what it said there in verse 20. It says that if somebody dies at 100 years old, they'll just be considered being a child. و کسی که در 100 سالگی میگه بمیره جوان محسوب میشه یک نوزاد در حقیقت محسوب میشه. So life is going to be very different, but different uh, for much better reasons. Okay, so we said that eventually, eventually, uh, the world will be a place where there will be no more sin. And even death itself will be done away with. Sin and death will be gone. So people, if they're living for longer, will be given uh, an experience of, of, of how wonderful it will feel to live for a long time. این تجربه خیلی قشنگ بهشون داده میشه که ببینا واقعا چه حسی داره یک زمان طولانی مدت داری زندگی میکنی و لذت میبینی از زندگی and people will want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ because they'll, they'll want to live forever in his kingdom و مردم ایسای مسیح و واسه دل خودشون دنبال کنن چون دوستان که کلام اونو یاد بگیرن و دوستان برای همیشه زندگی کنن در کنارش now at the bottom of the screen there it says have your own vision of the kingdom و این پایین سفر نیا کنی میگه آیا تابعا راجع پادشاهی خدا تصوری کرده یا یک آرزو و آیا توی این تصورتی توی زندتون داشتیم So there's on the screen there's those three chapters there Psalm 72, Isaiah 35, Isaiah 65 و بالای سفر هم که میدیم مزامی اشیا مزامی 72, اشیا 35 و اشیا 65 رو داریم What you What I'd like you to do over the next few days is, is read the whole of those chapters. Is they give you a little bit more detail about what the kingdom of God is going to be like. And it's important that you uh, think about what you're looking forward to in God's kingdom. Because we know it's always good to look forward to something that's coming. And if we keep reading and reading these passages, uh, it will help us to want God's kingdom even more. Uh, think about who you'd like to meet in the kingdom. Who would, which of these uh, Bible characters that we read of would you like to talk to? چه اتفاقی دوست دارین ازشون بپرسیم و ببینید چه جوری روخ داده و اونا چه جوری همه اینا رو تجربه کردن think about uh, something in this world now that you're looking forward to, to to being no longer to being healed to being um, to being no more و مثلا تصورتون راجع این باشه که چه چیزی الان توی دنیا وجود داره که دوست دارین دیگه نه وجود نداشته باشه و جای دیگه نداشته باشه توی این دنیا مثلا همین And think about yourself as well, and think about maybe if you've got a, 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 a physical frailty or a mental frailty, and think how wonderful it will be if, when, when that's gone. So it's really good and important that we think about what God's kingdom is going to be like. 
این خیلی مهم و اساسی و ضروریه که فکر کنیم راجع این قضیه و تصویر سازی کنیم تو ذهنمون که ببینیم پادشاهی خداوند دوست داریم چگونه باشه مثلا اوکی لیتس جست لوک ات two more passages let's look at that verse there Isaiah 28 sorry Isaiah 25 and verse 8 دو کتاب نگاه کنیم اشیاء 25 آیه 8 صفحه 904 او مرگ را تا به عبد فرو خواهد بری خداوندگار یهوه اشکار را از هر چهره خواهد تو و ننگ قوم خیش را از تمامی زمین بر خواهد گرفت زیرا که خداوند سخن گفته است okay so that's something that 99.999% of the world population fears is death. But look at what it says there. Death will be gone forever. Uh, uh, come over again to Revelation chapter 21. So here's, here's one of the most lovely verses in the whole of the Bible. و خود خدا با ایشان خواهد بود و خدای ایشان خواهد بود او هر اشکی را از چشمان آنها پاک خواهد کرد و دیگر مرگ نخواهد بود و معتم و شیون و در وجود نخواهد داشت زیرا چیزهای اول سپری شد so all, all of the terrible things that we see in this world whether they uh, affect us or whether they affect people that we know around us they'll be gone forever و چرا قشنگ همه اون اتفاقات و اون مشکلاتی که حالا میتونه روی زندگی ما روی شخصیت ما روح و روان ما تاثیر بذاره روی افرادی که ما میشناسیم تاثیر بذاره همشون داره میگه اونا از می خواهند and that's the wonderful hope of god's kingdom و یک امید و روزنه امید خیلی عالی و قشنگ از پادشاهی خدا داره به ما میده about what sum up about what we've looked at this evening حالا بیاین یک so we've seen that when Jesus Christ returns to the earth, he's going to be the king. That when he returns, his kingdom is going to cover the whole of the world. That kingdom will have a capital city, it will be the city of Jerusalem. Uh, initially, Jesus will rule for a thousand years. Uh, first of all, that there will be the immortal believers, those who are accepted into the kingdom of God and will be given immortality. So they will rule with the Lord Jesus Christ and will teach the mortal population about God. That mortal population will be taught all about God's ways. و اون جمعیتی که زندگی فانی دارن تمامشون راجع به کلام خدا و اون راه و روش خدا و خاصی خدا بهشون تجلیس خواهد شد. And at the end of that thousand years God will deliver his kingdom over to his father. و در آخر اون دوره هزار ساله سرور و میسر مسی پادشاهی و تقدیم پدرش خدا خواهد کرد. And at that time the world will be perfect because sin and death will have gone forever. و در اون زمان دیگه زمین عالی و بی‌نقص خواهد شد چون مرگ و گناه از بین رفته. So I encourage you to have a look again at some of these passages and read them for yourselves. و دوباره تشویقت می‌کنم که مزامیر 72 اشعیا 35 و اشعیا 65 رو حتما بخونید. Have a vision of God's kingdom in your own minds. و یک تصویر سازی یا یک زمین سازی تو ذهن خودتون داشته باشید از پادشاهی خدا تو ذهن خودتون. And we pray that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ will be here very soon to set up that wonderful time that's coming upon this earth. 
ایسا مسیح هر چیز زودتر برگرده و بر روی زمین همون که فرمانیش رو شروع کنه و همون پادشایی خداوند رو هر چیز زودتر تحسیز کنه اوکی، So now we've got time for, for any questions that, that have either come in or, or perhaps might come in in the next couple of minutes. So if you do have any questions, please uh, send them to either Amir or Misag. Okay. Give it a couple of moments just to uh, see if anything comes in. My question is acceptable or not? What's that? May I ask a question? Of course you can. Uh, I suppose it was... Uh, it was written... Uh, uh, um, a person who died in 100 years will be cursed. What does that mean? It was in Isaiah. Isaiah 25, um, I suppose. 65, wasn't it? Yes, 65. Sixty five verse twenty at the end of verse twenty in my Bible. And those who got uh, doesn't get to hundred years, they will be cursed. That's a very good question. <laughs> so I wonder if it's I wonder if it's saying that um, if somebody dies at a hundred years then something terrible must have happened to them. Because it perhaps will be so unusual for somebody to die that young. So, um, I'm not entirely sure, but what I will do, I'll get a, I'll get a better answer to that question, and then maybe we can send that around. Thank you. Okay. So next question is, will we raise at the same age that we died, or we will be raised with young body? و سوال برای اینه که کسی میمیره همون سن بیدار میشه یا امکانش هست مثلا کسی جوان بیدار میشه یا پیرتر بیدار میشه uh, That's a very good question Unfortunately we're not told the answer سوالش خیلی قشنگ ولی خب جوابشو نداری So I, I think that we will be 